Hey there everybody, this is Eric from Outer Limitless. And it's Carlos from Daily Carry Solutions. We're here in Atlanta today to cover Blade 2019. Now there is a lot of material to cover between June 7th and June 9th. These three days have a lot coming, so stay tuned. You're gonna like it. You're gonna look pretty on camera. <laughs> Talk about 2019 stuff. Right. 2019. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it asked about the terminus because I know that you guys have the. Uh, well, I said red. It's crimson. I know that you have that. Um, this one, like with the BDZ one, still, it's a yeah. nice quality knife. So, th is that what you keep in your pocket? That's what I carry. Okay. Also for 2019, we have this guy right here. It's the same XR lock. This is going to be the Seal XR. Nice. Coming out, nice big old full size knife. Seal FX is coming out next year that we put in this play case for tonight. Fantastic knife. And then Terminus XR is what I carry on a day to day basis. It's big enough to do everything you can expect a folder to do. Easy one hand open and close. And small enough that it's not going to scare grandma or anybody else when you open up to do something with it. Yeah, no, I actually like it. I, one thing I really like about Sog Knives, and you guys have been doing this for a long time, yeah. is the clip placement and how it's done. Um, this yeah. is a truly deep carry clip. Yeah. You don't have to worry about, you know, whether the, the screws are recessed or not, because the clip actually goes through the, um, just if you can see how the placement is right there, you can actually get it way, way into your pocket without having to worry about, you know, it eating, you know, the screws eating at your, your jeans or maybe a piece of it sticking out is something you guys have always done. Yeah. And with this knife, if, if, I mean, the clip is reversible, am, am I right? Is it, completely is it, ambidextrous. Which that, that makes the knife completely ambidextrous because obviously you have the thumb studs on both sides. It's a flipper. You have the lock that is accessible on both sides and then you have the clip that you can turn from right to left side for you know, tip up carry, which is also a great thing. I mean, you have great knives that come out sometimes and then they're tip down only and I'm like, uh. Yeah, everybody has their preference and tip up's just easier to get out of your pocket. Yes. For example, I'm not left-handed, very much so. This is my left hand opening and closing the terminus. Can I do it with the thumb stud? Nope, because I'm not left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why they have the flipper. Exactly, that's why I have the flipper. And again, Fantastic knife. It's what I carry. I've been carrying this since we had them in beta testing. It's a phenomenal knife. And I the fidget factor on these is just amazing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All day, every day, just open and close, open and close, and it's going to be that butter smooth right out of the box. There's no break in time. The lock is self-wearing and self-adjusting. Fantastic knife. Still backed by Sog's lifetime warranty, should anything happen. But again, we had guys that were testing this that got really bold and took down a tree. Don't do that, avoid some warranty. Yeah. But that's what some of the stuff that we put this through and test. It's a phenomenal knife. And we've got it coming out in red and in green for Crimson and OD, I think is the technical name. Okay, all right. And um, I, I mean, as far as pricing, I know that this one is out already. Is there going to be a change in that's pricing a, for... Exactly. Different? So the carbon fiber in G10 is going to be a little bit more of a nicer model. It's got a little bit more pizzazz to it. The red and the green are going to be flat G10 handles, nice and abrasive and rough. Okay. Uh, in order to stick in your hand. Those are going to be a slightly lower price point. Terminus XR carbon fiber runs around $80. The other ones are going to be in that $50 price point when they hit the market. Okay, nice. All right, and now when uh, when would you guesstimate that they're going to be hitting the market? Uh, is it going to be into 2019? Is it definitely be... still 2019. We're okay. still working out just a few more kinks, and we're going to have it in the market later on this year. I'm hoping before the fall. Okay, great. All right, sounds good. Yeah. Any fixed blades you'd like to go ahead and show me that, uh, I mean, I was checking out this one right here, the pillar. I was saying, nothing new. Pillar is by far my favorite. It's what I've got in my rig when I go out camping. Nice. I'm a Micarta guy, so I saw that. Me I was too. Like, Micarta and carbon fiber are the two things I'm an absolute sucker for. Uh, USA made Carpenter CPM S35 VN, a little bit of stone wash here, the satin polish. I've put mine, out, mine through Helen back. Again, with my card, it becomes more uniquely yours. I can pick mine out of a lineup on a table. It's phenomenal. We also have, also with my card, because we love it. And it's a fantastic material. Exactly. We have our Kiku 4 inch. This is a VG10. Great little knife. Use that signature Kiku grind. And then, do you guys want to see something for the first time that we're announcing at show? Definitely. All right. So, coming in 2020, the next evolution in our Kiku line is going to be the Kiku FX. Again, very early, very rough pre-production type. We're just showing it off for the first time here. Still going to have that micarta. Sign more for an outdoorsman in mind. That's nice. When this comes out, we're going to be dropping it with XHP. For the okay. blade steel. XHP steel. Nice. Yep. It'll come in this with sort of the satin and uh, green, and we're also going to have it in a blackout. Also, reversible pocket clip. I think that me, clip that, on there, yeah, it's, it's, it's different from most of the, 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 SOG, uh, the SOG deep carry clips. It is. Clips it's not a SOG. full deep carry clip, so you have a tiny bit sticking out of the top, but it, not nearly as much as you do with the seal. Very nice. 
years. And that's, I mean, right. you just kind of, uh, just from the use and uh, taking that out, I can tell it's been in your pocket for a bit. It's, it's, yeah. it's got that one nice, thing lovely that micarta patina on it. Yes. Yeah, that's one thing we love about, you know, micarta. You get something, it has its original colors, yeah. and the oils from your hand, and just from usage, right. the stuff that gets on it, Mold it just, right it makes it yours. And it, no matter, you know, if it gets wet, it, it just, it keeps that in nice grip. Yeah. yeah. I actually have a funny story. So I had a, another, one of the older folding key cubes that starts off the handle color like this. I didn't think about it and I threw it in a new pair of blue jeans when it was still this nice tan. So my handle's all kind of blue tinge. It looks really neat. I could have never planned it if I had tried. But it's a phenomenal thing to do. I mean, I've seen people do crazy things with ink in micarta or dyes just because it permeates into the material. But no, I I love it. I can't say I can't say enough good things about micarta personally. And also just the Kiku and the pillar with those micarta materials, just they sing. They feel so great in the hand. Nice. Right. Anything else you want to find out about? Any other questions you've got? Actually, yes. Uh, I mean, as far as blade steel on this, I know you mentioned yeah. that the, the Terminus XR has the BDZ, uh, CTS uh, BDZ-1 yeah. uh, steel. Um, judging by sales or anything like that, would there be a possibility of having something in an upgraded uh, steel from the BDZ-1? I mean, I know that, I, I mean, from a price point, this is a great steel. I mean, even just the ergonomics and the actual use of the knife, you get good use, but... We've got some plans in the works. We're thinking about stuff. Maybe S35, maybe D2. Just all we can sort of say is stay tuned. Okay. For that. All right. Cool. All right, Alec, thank you so much Not for taking a, a moment to speak to us. Of course. Take care. Enjoy the show. Thanks. Blades all about the sharp pony. That's why we're here. Awesome.